welcome to today's session. Today we are going to talk about reporting, an introduction to it, principles of reporting, and functions and responsibilities of a reporter. Well, whenever we talk about journalism, in a common way, we only think about the reporters. Reporters are perhaps the most known category of people in the media scenario for the common masses. If we have to define journalism, it is not a very easy task, more in this area of digital journalism. Journalism is a combination of plethora of things. It is a complicated process of gathering information, analyzing and sorting, editing, and of course, giving it a context. A journalist is involved in the entire process in various capacities, and all he does is commonly known as reporting. Now let us understand what is reporting. Reporting is the main function in any media, and reporters are the one who acts as the eyes and ears for the society. So a reporter is a person who is responsible both ways, to the media house in one hand and to the general people to whom the newspaper, the radio, the television channel or the digital media is catering to. The main function of journalistic profession is news reporting. News reporting involves discovering all the relevant facts, selecting and presenting the important facts and weaving a comprehensive news story. Now, when I say comprehensive news story, the, the type of the news story or how the news story would be reported will depend on many factors. One very important factor here is the type of media for which the news story is being written or for which the news story is being shot or done. So in case of media, we can divide media into two broad divisions. One is the traditional media, that is newspaper, of course, magazines, radio, television, books, signboards, everything that, that we have been knowing since uh, ages. And now there's a concept of new media. Now what is this new media? The new media is the digital media which has become a part of our day-to-day -day life, which includes websites, apps, emails, podcasts, smartphones, streaming videos, blogs, Wikipedia, uh, ebooks, then social networking, streaming, and so on and so forth. So, if you can see the list of new media that I have provided you with is a long one and every day a new type of media is emerging in the scenario. A reporter works for both the traditional media as well as the new media. So what is the job of the reporter? Let me summarize in uh, uh, one or two sentences. The job of the reporter is to gather the news, get the information, take interviews uh, and of course put it in a comprehensive writing or in a comprehensive uh, video so that people get interested to see it, to read it and uh, they understand it at one go because we know journalistic writing is something which has to be very uh, simple to the point and should be presented in a way that it doesn't uh, put on much pressure on the readers or the viewers mind. Now let us understand what are the various types of reporting a reporter actually does. If we switch on to the uh, prime time television news, we will have an understanding about the various types of reporting. A newspaper consists of a lot of reports. Some of them are the regular ones like the weather report, the incident reports that happens in and around us. So is the television channel, so is the digital media. Apart from that, if we want to divide reporting into various uh, parts or various types rather, there are uh, investigative reporting, court reporting, political reporting, economical reporting or business reporting, sports reporting, and there is something called specialized reporting. I will discuss one by one about it. And of course, in today's scenario, fashion and entertainment reporting is also uh, something which is very, very hyped, right? 
Before I go on to the types of reporting once again, let me tell you the structure of a media report. Now, whenever we see a movie, say for example, if I compare the media report with a movie, it will be easy to understand and uh, easy to remember. We see a movie starts in a storytelling method and at the end, we see the climax of the movie. But in a report, in a newspaper report, mind it, it is just the opposite. So in a newspaper report, the concept is of inverted pyramid. So what we do, we actually put in the main um, news or the main content of the entire news story at the very beginning. And then we uh, try to close it at the end, giving the other relevant details. Say for example, 25 people uh, died in a plane crash. So the first point of information is the number of casualties in the plane crash. How it happened, when it happened, where it happened will come one after the another. But the first point of information will be the number of casualties. And yes, another very important point here is the place where it happened. Because when we write a report or when we read a report, if I see it from the reader's perspective, from the audience's perspective, it is very important for us to know about the place of the event because that is how we decide which news is important to us or which report is important to us and which report is of less importance to us. So the structure of a media report starts with the headline. We all know what is the headline. And then uh, there are five W's and one H, which are very important in case you are writing a report. Um, you have to keep these five W's and one H in mind. And what are those? The five W's are who, what, when, where, and how. So you take any incident, any event, you put it in this 5 W's and 1 H, you will have a substantial amount of um, thing to be written. Now going back to the types of reporting, investigative reporting is something which doesn't happen every day. Investigation starts when there is a kind of a crime, when there is a kind of uh, some sort of scandal. Um, investigation reporting takes place there. Court reporting is a regular type of reporting provided there is a uh, court case, important court case, uh, which affects you and uh, me, everyone. Uh, court reporting takes place. For example, I tell you, there was a lot of court cases going on uh, um, uh, during the CBSC or ICSC board examinations where people were filing PILs for online examination, offline examination, and everyone was uh, somehow interested in that uh, court reporting. Why? Because the fate of the students of the country were decided by the court. Right at the, uh, So that kind of a reporting is very important. Political reporting is perhaps the most common reporting that we see in our media day in and day out. Where our ministers are going, what they are doing, what kind of political speech, what kind of political agenda they are up to. And uh, if it is uh, an election time, the polling time, we will find no uh, other reporting uh, than the political reporting. So a political reporter is a very, very important person in the media media scenario. Business reporting is again another very important type of reporting. Why? Because uh, budget, business, share market, uh, all these are very important part of the economy of the society as a whole. Sports, another specialized type of reporting. And uh, we all are interested in sports. In our country, if there is one religion we all uh, follow, that is uh, cricket. So uh, what Virat Kohli is doing and uh, uh, what BCCI is doing is something very, very important to us. A sports reporter is a most sought after person in, uh, in the uh, newspaper house or in the media house, to be more uh, precise. And uh, of course, there are various types of specialized reporting like page three, entertainment, uh, human interest stories or social interest stories and these are the various types of uh, reports that we find in the media whatever the type of media is whether it is the traditional media like the print media uh, radio television or the new age media like the digital media <laughs> Now comes the second part of today's uh, session, that is principles of reporting. 
Now, whenever we are uh, into a kind of a um, professional uh, engagement, there are certain principles that we got to follow. Reporting is not only a profession. Reporting is something more than that because the entire society, the entire population is dependent or is hooked to that reporting. So a reporter has to maintain certain principles very, very categorically. The first and the foremost among these are maintaining objectivity and fairness. That means the news item that the reporter is presenting need to be without any bias or opinion. I can think something in a particular light. I might like a person, I might follow a particular political ideology, um, but when I'm reporting, I have to maintain a very objective and, a, and an unbiased approach towards it. If I'm not being able to do it, I am not suitable to become a reporter. A journalist must refrain from any kind of personal inclination, liking, disliking when they are onto the field reporting an event, reporting an incident and doing their job. The second is truth and accuracy. Human minds are always biased and there are judgments that we always have. There are preconceived notions that we always have in our mind. A reporter is not supposed to be like that. A reporter's report needs to be true and accurate. If there is five casualty, it is five, it cannot be four, neither it can be six. If there is a confusion regarding that, because you know, with time, the data might change. So we need to mention, as a reporter, one needs to mention till that point of time. So the timeline needs to be mentioned. Verification and accountability is the second one that we need to keep in mind. So what is verification and accountability means? When we are dealing with facts and figures and data, right? It must be verified, it must be quoted from sources which are verified and the person who is doing it must remain accountable to the same. The next one that a reporting principal would uh, come up with is distinguishing between facts and comments. A report is not for comments. For that, we have special stories like editorials, post editorials, features, all those are there for opinionated write-ups. But a reporting or a report, a news report, needs to be absolutely free from any uh, personal comments, any personal opinion. So it is the responsibility of the reporter to distinguish between what is a fact and what is an opinion or what is a comment. Unless that is done, the news will tend to lose its credibility. The next one is transparency and restraint. The facts and figures that are mentioned in the report needs to be transparent. There should not be any kind of ambiguity in any kind of a facts or figures that are being uh, put in a newspaper, in a television or in a radio news or maybe in the new age uh, digital medium as well. Originality, this is something which you will come again and again and again uh, throughout your curriculum of journalism, reporting, anchoring, that uh, if the report writing, the style of writing, the content that is being put in uh, the report is not original, then there is a possibility that the reporter is likely to be framed under plagiarism. That, that doesn't mean I cannot refer to uh, any uh, other writing. Of course I can do, we all do, but we should mention the source. I cannot take something from somebody else's writing and put it in my report or in my writing as it is my own original story. No, if I'm doing that, that is something uh, I uh, must refrain from, right? So a reporter must, must stick to originality, right? Any news item which has quotations, which has data, which has uh, statistics from other sources, the source must be mentioned unless and until the source is mentioned, it doesn't uh, come under the concept of an original report. 
public interest. Journalism is a public interest activity. We all know when, when the first newspapers started in our country, it was done with uh, the concept of serving the society, making the people more and more aware about what is going around us. So the first uh, newspaper we had in our country is Hickey's Gadget. And from then, we have seen during our uh, independence struggle, uh, so many newspapers coming in with one concept, that is public service. Nowadays, the concept is changing. It is also a business. But at the same time, if I do not keep public good and public interest in mind, my uh, approach to the profession is diluted. Dissemination, the right and the fair information in my news is a very, very important responsibility of a reporter. Well, by this time, we all know what does a reporter has to do. A reporter has to collect news, verify it, analyze it thoroughly, whether it is newsworthy or not, and of course, then assemble all these things into a proper news story. Write and deliver the news story, keeping the readers or the viewers or the listeners perspective in mind. I, as a reporter, will certainly not write a story. When I say story, I mean news story, keeping my uh, writing skills in mind. I will rather do it keeping what my audience needs to know from my news story. It is also the, a very important part of a reporter's function is to find out new and interesting stories and write or uh, shoot or, and broadcast it, right? Receive assignments from the editorial uh, group of the house and cover regular events and news beats. Now, what are the regular events and news beats? Say, for example, hospital is a regular news beat. The secretariat is a regular news beat. The various police stations are the regular news beats, right? These are the regular news beats. Also, it is the responsibility of the reporter to attend press conferences, understand what is being told there, rephrase and rewrite. It is the responsibility of a reporter to do background study and research, maintain notes and audio recordings, cooperate with other reporters, sub-editors, producers, etc. Stay up to date with the recent activities or the current events by doing their own way of research, studying, uh, keeping them updated. The reporter is supposedly the watchdog of the society, so the reporter is not only responsible and answerable to uh, the house for whom he or she is working. But remember, the reporter is answerable to the society as well. The reporter is supposed to maintain professional secrecy, follow and abide by press laws, ethics, and code of conduct. This is a very, very important thing that we need to keep in mind while we are writing. Freedom of press is a fundamental right for us, but that doesn't mean that we can write anything and everything. So there are certain press laws, there are certain ethics and codes of journalism which needs to be uh, maintained by the reporter. The reporter must be absolutely clear about it. And what are the responsibilities of a reporter? These are very uh, interlinked and overlapping at times though, but the first and the foremost responsibility of a reporter is ensuring accuracy, uh, cutting down onto unnecessary uh, ambiguous details, make the story readable or presentable and complete, meeting stringent deadlines. That's a very, very important part of uh, reporting. Working towards the benefit of the organization, society and the country. Again, let me repeat, working towards the benefit of the organization for whom he or she is working, society and the country as a whole. B the reporter needs to be responsible towards its sources because without the source, the reporter will not be able to work. 
the reporter should be able to coordinate with the editorial staff, uh, photographer, producers, uh, cameramen, and all other people who are required to coordinate for a new story to come up with. Uh, the reporter needs to coordinate with the graphic department because nowadays you see a lot of graphic visual aids are used in the reporting. The reporter should maintain very good rapport and networking with all the people around which includes internal and external people, internal within the organization, external outside the organization. <laughs> At the end, let me summarize today's session for you all. So we started with what is reporting and we have understood that reporting is a very, very important part of journalism. The main activity of journalism is reporting and whatever the type of media or the story is, the activity of gathering and presenting the information depending upon whether it is for the print media, the electronic media or the new age media is in a way or in a nutshell called reporting. The second thing we learned here is about the principles of reporting. What are the things that we need to keep in mind while we are onto the job of reporting? The first and the foremost thing that I uh, told you about the principles of reporting is uh, maintaining objectivity and fairness, taking care of truth and accuracy, verification and accountability, distinguishing between facts and comments, transparency and restraint, originality and public interest. The next thing that we discuss today here is the functions of a reporter. Well, the function of a reporter, if we want to put it in a gist, is collecting news understanding which is newsworthy and which is not, that is sorting of the information. And number three is writing it as per the media house policy, as per the requirement of the audience, as per the style of the newspaper reporter or the media reporter. So these are the main functions. And in the process of uh, these uh, functions, a reporter has to do a lot many things which I have already discussed. And the last but not the least is what are the responsibilities of a reporter? Well, the function and the responsibilities, as I said, is overlapping, but the reporter is responsible to a lot of people at the same time. First of all, the reporter is responsible to the media house for which he or she is working. Secondly, the reporter is responsible towards the source from whom he or she is getting the information. Third, the reporter is responsible to the society. The society consists of the readers, the viewers, the listeners and everybody who the newspaper house or the media house or the television channel caters to. Last but not the least, the reporter is responsible to the country, keeping in mind the laws, rules and regulations of the country, the reporter has got to present his or her news. And more importantly, the reporter is responsible to himself. So if I am clear as a reporter, if I am clear to myself, I will be clear to everyone I am catering to. Well, that is all for this session. I hope this session will help you in your understanding of the subject and in your profession ahead. Thank you.